Tesla builds number one million. Tesla's looking to build its next factory, but maybe not where it was expected. And it looks like software updates might be delayed a little bit. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 581 for Friday the 13th, March 13th, 2020. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a new Tesla, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesperson to use code Richard174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash Richard174 and pick up a 1,000 mile supercharging credit for your new vehicle. Hey folks, I know this is a Tesla show, but I just wanted to say a couple of words about the current state of things with the big bad coronavirus. With my inbox stuffed full of coronavirus policies from every company I've ever had contact with, I wanted to give everyone a little encouragement. Everything is going to be fine, folks. It really is. Be smart and follow some general common sense. Maybe hold back from being out in the general public if it isn't totally necessary. And when you are going out, make sure you wash your hands appropriately. My family plans on ensuring in addition to the standard wash you do in the bathroom, we'll be washing when leaving and returning home as well. Other than that, it's life as normal. And for the love of all that is good in the world, if you're sick in any way, please stay at home. Coronavirus or not, we don't need to spread around any illness at all. Be smart and be well, everyone. Okay, the lead story for Tesla going into the weekend is Elon tweeting that Tesla has sold its millionth vehicle. Well, produced it anyway, but it'll definitely be sold. The millionth vehicle appears to be a performance Model Y in multi-coat red. The picture was taken of the Model Y outside the exit of the tent that holds the final production lines for the performance Model 3, and apparently the performance Model Y as well. An interesting point made elsewhere in my feed that I'm failing to remember the source of is the fact that it took 17 years for Tesla to get to 1 million vehicles produced, and it's very likely it will only take another two to double that production. Amazing stuff. Congratulations on number 1 million, Tesla. Next up is more from Elon's Twitter feed. Sometime back, it really appeared that Austin would be the next location of a U.S. Tesla factory after a series of tweets coming from Elon. However, new tweets from Elon cast some doubt on this. Quote, Scouting locations for Cybertruck Gigafactory will be Central USA. End quote. He followed this up saying, quote, Model Y production for East Coast too. End quote. It's tough to tell if Elon is just posturing to get a better deal out of Texas, if he was never serious about Austin to begin with, or if this truly is about to be another competition for the next factory, much as Giga Nevada was. It's also interesting that the central U.S. is the target, as I'd have thought that the East Coast would be a better target with access to ports. Not that there isn't access to ports in the central U.S., but this would certainly be limiting potential winners of the factory to be in the South. I doubt we hear anything soon on where the fifth Gigafactory will be built, given the fourth doesn't even have a clear area to lay foundation yet but I'll definitely bring you the news as soon as there is something to discuss. Lastly tonight, the Third Row Tesla podcast feed calls my attention to a post on Twitter from at Sacramento Tesla. They tweeted, quote, Looks like 2020.8.x has been halted. That's why it vanished on both of my vehicles, end quote. This was accompanied by a picture of a text message from a Tesla rep saying, quote, We are aware of the issue that you experienced. It looks like our engineering team had canceled the 2020.8 update altogether, which forced the update to abort on vehicles. We are back to 2020.4 as the most recent firmware until engineering re- redeploys the 2020.8 update again, end quote. So if you've been sitting on 2020.4 for some time, it looks like there's good reason, and you can expect to wait a bit longer before moving forward again. That will do it for today's show. Thanks to my patrons supporting the show at patreon.com slash Tibbits, And as always, a special shout out to all the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Megabot Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, Vicky Kirk, Ricky Johnston, Nathan Garza, Ed Patterman, Sunil Joseph, and Joy Rodriguez. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. Until next time, keep it charged and hit the road.